I'm very pleased to be here on my magical thing with Freya Aswin, writer, musician, teacher, magician. Uh, I could list many things, pagan, heathen, special uh, connection to Wicca, to chaos magic, to the magic of the peoples of the north, let's call it, of the, of the runes and, and those kind of magics. Um, Freya, it's lovely to have you here. Anything I should add to that list? Yes. My latest venture is integrating the rooms with astrology. Oh. What I do, this is a reading I develop because marvelous as the rooms are, and they really are as rich and deep as the Kabbalah, they are the set they they are the best divination for on the spot. But timing. Ah. So what I do, the runes will tell you things. They may tell you how, they may tell you why, they may tell you why not, but they damn well won't tell you when. <laughs> That's an astrology convinced. So I'll show a picture of your magical thing which you've just sent me at this point so people know what we're talking about. Do you want to tell us a bit more about how that process works for you? Well, I first calculate the birth chart and I study, I study some of it and I give about an, an interpretation, my esoteric interpretation of the birth chart. I mean, I'm not a professional astrology, but I probably will be within, within the next few months. Because I did astrology before. I was ever, ever know about runes. I mean, yes, I heard about runes from a specific angle. So I run a mile. So I've been working with the runes, but you know, I started just contemplating Yera, which is the rune of the year. And I realized that Yera is also the room of every other fucking planet in the solar system. And you've got 24 rooms, you've got 12 signs, 12 houses. So I started just doing experimental readings by using the houses of the horoscope and what's in there. And the rooms on the outside, I can relate it like, the first house has the 30th house room. Right, you've got Mars in your first house. You've got to tone it down a bit, otherwise you're going to get your head kicked in. Second house, you've got Saturn. Oh, oh. Well, that has to do with earning money. And that will be slow for a while. And roughly, those rooms keep with the year, and I found that, depending on the horoscope, but certainly with people with a night chart, i.e. the majority of planets below the ascendant, the first six houses are all about you and your environment. So that is where things will come up about jobs, about work, about family, about hereditary matters about health. Well, the second, the higher arc of the horoscope, beyond the seventh house, starting at the seventh house, has to do with external influences, like other people's money. Higher learning, education, either receiving or supplying. Your higher education, ninth house, tenth house, your esteem, you are held in so called society, but for us it would be among your peers. And it would then refer to your magical career as much as a mundane career. The eleventh house is you look what room, what tells you about friendships and contacts and possible betrayal and the 12th house shows you what is normally not visible 
And if you've got planets in these houses, and these planets make aspects, the runes will share that aspect, like a square mm. or a trine. And this, so far, I have been only doing it with birth charts, but it would equally well for a solar return. Then you can reasonably, don't like the word prediction, but extrapolate in the future, derived from current tendencies as you pick up both to astrology, the runes, the gods, and my own innate clairvoyance. Freya, that's amazing. Thank you so much for introducing us just a little little view of that unfolding magical thing, that practice of bringing together these two uh, approaches to understanding the world and understanding the great mystery. Sister, thank you so yes. much. Really appreciate your Best time. Me one thing. Ah. Those readings I do are 50 quid. <laughs> I'll make sure that there's a link in the description of the video, my friend. Thanks ever so much for your time, Frey. I really appreciate it. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.